Hi, welcome to another video from Dr. Lock. We're going to have a look at the IP3 and IP7 restricted keys and we're going to go through a few of the features which are involved in these keys. Now to start with these are restricted keys. They say restricted on the front and they also say do not copy registered design. They are next branded with the locksmith's name who owns the system or who supplied the system. To be able to supply a system you need to be a registered dealer with the supplier and there's agreements and terms and conditions and things like that which go along with it. Uh, these particular keys here you won't be able to get in the cut unless you go through the authorised locksmith. In this case it's a Dr. Lock, locksmith one so you would have to come through us to do it. The difference between these two keys is, um, well, in shape, they're about the same shape, they're exactly the same height, uh, they're branded the same. The difference is the hole, if you can see the hole on top, this one here you can put an insert in and then you can put it through your keyring and when you have a coloured insert there you can identify the key a little bit easier on your keyring. If you have multiple of the same keys, having different colours on your keyring would be a big advantage. So that's the first, the first difference. Often as the key progresses over time they generally do more modern things to the keys, um, different shapes, um, the inserts and so on and so forth. So as, the, as you purchase a more modern product you do get different benefits uh, which weren't previously on older keys. IP3 is uh, one of the older ones, IP7 is one of the newer ones. The newest one out there on the market is IP8 and one of the oldest ones I believe is IP1. So it starts off 1, 2 and goes all the way up from there. They're registered design which means that um, if you were to make this design of key you would be in breach of copyright or trademark whichever one applies to it. This is limited for a particular amount of time, I think 10 or 15 years. Um, even after that has expired, they are still a restricted item and no locksmith will be able to cut it, let alone um, make the key blanks or order the key blanks or anything along those lines. So even if the registered design has run out, they still retain their restricted key properties and in the industry are still treated as a restricted key product. Flipping over the key now, looking on the back, you can see uh, IP3 stamped here, IP7 stamped here. The next thing you'll often see in a key system is a number on the first line and some numbers on the bottom line. This is your system number. This is uh, what the locksmiths use to identify your system and from there we can look up and see how many doors, uh, what type of key it is, what level of key and who it belongs to and things like this. So the number stamped on the back of your key in this spot is very critical and when ordering is very important. This particular key is shaped differently. Uh, each profile, which is profile being the grooves on the key, is shaped differently. IP1 is shaped different to IP3. IP7 is shaped different. They're all different, basically. You can't interchange them, so you can't use an IP1 key on an IP7 cylinder or anything along those lines. If you have IP1 throughout your building and you want to upgrade to IP7, you would need to actually install new barrels. Looking at it uh, from this way, you can see the shape, if I, if I can bring it up a bit there, you can see the shape is different. So looking down this way, you can see it's different grooves along there, different grooves along this side, and this side here. So this part here and this part here are completely different. The top section are almost identical, apart from the key insert. Over here we have ourselves an IP3 um, plug simply slots in and as you can see it's quite a tight fit there there's many steps uh, little divots and little um, angles in there which the key has to conform to to slide easily in and out IP7 is identical in this respect it is a different pattern the key is a different shape the more modern it is the, the better it is and when picking locks, it doesn't allow you to have the standard, how do you say, room to be able to manipulate the lock. This particular profile here, as you can see it, is all jagged, making it very difficult to get lock picks in there to manipulate the key or open the lock. Okay, so that's basically the, the difference between IP3 and IP7. Uh, we could show you IP1 all the way through to 8 but there's no point because it's basically to show you there is a there is a difference as far as being a restricted key product they're both the same if you had this on your door it would still work the same as if you had this profile of key on your door they're still a restricted product 
We sell both of these products, we install them and we also do service them as well. We can only cut keys which are embossed like this with Dr. Lock written on the so it's a camera works not really Dr. Lock written on the actual key. If it doesn't say Dr. Lock, we cannot duplicate any keys for you. So that's uh, restricted keys by Dr. Lock. For further information, please email. Thanks for watching.